the service. Is the patient breathing? Um, no, no, he's not. OK, I need to get some further information from you. Stay on the line. I have your location on our computer system and a live first responder is on the way and I'm going to tell you what to do until that help arrives. Okay. You need to keep your dad flat on his back on the ground for me as quickly as you can. OK. The Lives is a charity. We're based in Lincolnshire and we're more than 50 years old now. And what we exist for is to respond to 999 medical emergencies that happen in our rural county. Hello, first responders. Hello. And we know that when medical emergencies happen, time is often of the essence. So what LIVES does is it takes members of the community, trains them in really great skills to be able to deliver those life-saving interventions Hello. in those Hello. first few Hello. minutes Hello. of a medical emergency. What's this gentleman's name? It takes a team to save a life. Whether you're the first person there delivering the basic life support and uh, early defibrillation, or the critical care team or air ambulance team, every cog has its place within that patient journey and they're all just as essential three, as each three, other's. One, hands off. As Lives Medical Director I need to have assurance of the quality of what our people are delivering. The new defibrillators from Zoll easily allow me to see what a responder has done and for my team to analyse their rescue, pull out the good practice, share that practice across the organisation so that across the whole piece we are delivering a better quality of CPR in cardiac arrest. Everybody clear? Correct. Top, middle, bottom. Shock coming in. Shock delivered. I'm carrying a Zolex uh, in my own responder kit um, and I also use it in our critical care platform. The beauty of the device is that it is compact, it's simple, it's intuitive. The device makes it so easy to capture what goes on within an incident. Because some of that early information is absolutely critical in terms of what's done later on in the patient journey to ensure they have a good outcome. Zoll is a resuscitation company. They make life-saving devices. My role is to deliver education and training around our technology that ultimately improves patient outcomes in cardiac arrest or acute illness or trauma. We call ourselves a resuscitation company because we make equipment that spans the full stream of patient care within resuscitation from ADs right the way through to intensive care environments that will uh, designed for saving lives. Lives have a, a really good system of feeding back to their rescuers that this is how you do it. We have given them a, a software where they can actually do that instantly. So as soon as the defibrillator switched off, all the metrics that happened is available to them in a very user-friendly format where they can debrief the team and show them where they did well and show them where things can be improved. If I can make or be a small part in that big team, that they, they, they understand the technology more, therefore the patient benefits more, then I feel like we've, we've, we've made that little bit of difference. The reason we went with Zoll is not only the quality of kit, but the ability of that information that allows us to drive quality and to drive continuous improvement in this organisation. Because every time we go out to see a patient, we want to do the absolute best for them, and we only do that by continually learning and learning from our own performance. That's why we bought it. It's really cool stuff. So excited. Service, is the patient breathing? 